Supporters of Ugandan President Joweru Museveni danced in the streets of Kampala after election officials announced his re-election victory on Saturday. A small number of supporters dressed in yellow blared music to celebrate his victory, while soldiers and police were out in force patrolling the capital. Let them come and let them win. The vote is good. Then so the vote is good. They are represent for the name of the God and our country. I voted the president seven, and I'm happy because we have peace in Uganda. Uganda is a very free country. Now, to talk more about the Uganda election and the impact on Africa and indeed Nigeria, now being joined by international affairs analyst Paul Ejime. Well, many thanks for joining us on Plus TV Africa News tonight. Thank you, Justin. All right, let's talk about the election. Now, President Yoweri Museveni has been declared winner of the election. What was your initial re reaction? Well, my reaction is that um, uh, probably it has gone as expected, but that does not mean that uh, things have gone um, well. By you know, many people in Africa are thinking about um, a more you know uh, credible, transparent, fair um, election. But that is not what has happened um, in Uganda. Um, if you recall, from November there have been. Um, uh, violence that has even claimed uh, 50 lives. And so even on the day of the election, there were violence and uh, the opposition, the main opposition leader, um, Bobby uh, Wine, has been uh, in and out of um, uh, detention. And um, so that is what has happened. He has um, originally claimed victory before the, um, the results were, official results were released. And so it wasn't, um, the, a, a, you know, a, a level playing field. Let me put it that way. There were suppression of opposition. There mm -hmm. were internet was cut off, and the um, EU, um, US, and then um, who else? They they have all um, US. They they they, did, they couldn't send um, election observers because um, their uh, observers were not accredited. So it wasn't. Um, a level playing field, and uh, one will this result will be a uh, question. But um, how far winner is ready to go? Uh, by the way, he he managed to get um, about um, uh, uh, 30, 34, 35 percent, and then um, uh, more than 30, about 30 MPs from uh, Museveni's uh, party lost um, uh, their seats. Um, and some, including some uh, cabinet ministers, and then the vice president. So it shows a lot that uh, perhaps if um, the, the um, environment were to be um, fair and um, with um, uh, transparency, perhaps the result would have been uh, different. By the way, also the turnout was about 57, 57%. So this is uh, all um, uh, drawback on um, Museveni that has been in power for 35 years and now wants to um, extend that. All right, this is Mr. not what um, is required. Hmm. in Africa, and uh, so that this result remains contestable and will be contested for a very long time to come. Okay, now, it was an election which pitted long-standing ruler uh, Museveni against a young musician turned politician. What's the impact of this victory to Africa's politics vis-a-vis uh, -vis young people's involvement in politics? Bobby has shown that... Um, a reggae uh, a superstar and, um, you know, uh, actor, by the way, 36, 38. That is half Museveni's age. Uh, uh, Museveni is 76. So he has shown what the capacity that um, um, young people can bring into the uh, political ecosystem in, in Africa. Uh, so that is one thing. Whether he, he won or he lost, I think he has raised the bar. And so young people in Africa and the world uh, watching, I think he has uh, thrown a challenge that um, they, if they mobilize, if they, 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 they strategize, perhaps they can dislodge um, uh, the, the, you know, the old brigade from power. But that is not to say that um, 
is uh, uh, leadership or wisdom uh, is associated with uh, age, anything, you know, like that. Whether you are young or you are old, it depends on what you bring. It depends on the state of mind, your vision about leadership. So that is one. Uh, remember that uh, we have also had uh, young people in Nigeria, the, uh, the Meiji uh, Bankolis, who was 40 and was a um, uh, speaker of a uh, house. Uh, you know how he ended up. So the issue really is um, getting the right people. It doesn't matter their age. But the point about the, the young people is that they have been marginalized, mm. like women, all the minorities. So they need to, you know, ginger up. They need to um, uh, uh, strategize, not just getting power, but what can they bring to the table? How will they be able to bring change to impact the system? The, what difference can they make? I think that is, um, because what you find it, in Africa is that uh, politicians, they say they are, the demand that uh, uh, is brought on them perhaps account for the, way, the reason they are corrupt. You'll find cronism. You'll find all kinds of manner of things. Because when you, you are in a you know, public office, even from your family, from everywhere, people are making demands on you, actually leading them some claim to, to begin to, to, to become corrupt, to begin to steal, to be able to meet uh, when people have um, those who are marrying, uh, somebody is having um, a funeral, some are looking for job. They all go to the politicians. And politicians will say, well, this is those who cannot manage the pressure will succumb. And so uh, we, we, we need to look at how the recruitment process and then the pressure that is brought on those who, that is not to excuse the fact that uh, many leaders have not uh, lived up to the, to the billing. All right, Mr. Ejime. Now, like you rightly said, there were reports of violent crackdowns, uh, widespread arrests and attempts to bar uh, journalists and, of course, uh, independent observers. What does all of this say about elections in that country and Africa at large? Well, it shows that elections remain, um, uh, you know, tr the, the greatest triggers and uh, uh, drivers of uh, political conflict in Africa. So Africa needs to look at how elections uh, uh, play out and be able to make it uh, inclusive, peaceful, and, and then make it in a way less, um, uh, 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 to make it cost effective. Because the reason, for instance, uh, the young people are not uh, featuring is because um, it is, um, uh, it's become very expensive. So these are the areas that Africa can, can look at. I, I remember you, the ECONET, the ECOWAS Network of Electoral Commissions in West Africa, they, 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 they have tried to see how they can bring, um, you know, to empower the uh, uh, electoral empowers, uh, electoral empowers, uh, um, uh, umpires rather, uh, the, the electoral bodies, to be able to see how they will be able to resist the political pressure. Because there is political pressure. And the fact you, from here, perhaps they, they, they will go to court and you are, they are not getting um, the courts. Some courts are not uh, helping matters either. Look at the, uh, the, the, the intervention, the, the verdicts they bring. They are suspicious and contradictory. So there is a lot that can be done. So from political party being um, uh, democratic, there is no internal democracy in some of these parties. Mm -hmm. And so it's a collection of, um, uh, uh, you know, bedfellows that uh, cannot um, fight him for their own um, uh, interests. Right. Nobody talks about the national interest. Mm -hmm. You find very little, the number that talk about patriotism, about development for the country, about the common people, about the, the welfare of the people. They are not, they are, they are, you know, you can count them on your fingers. It's all mm -hmm. about uh, their, their themselves, their families, and then um, uh, their friends. Well, that is not what so it much. should be. So uh, all this will have to be looked after, looked mm -hmm. into, if Africa can um, consolidate democracy mm -hmm. and, you know, remove all these um, leaders that uh, sit, sit tight or uh, third term leaders. All right, thank I think you they so have much. to give way mm. to, to, to younger people. All right, thank you so much, um, Paul um, Ejime, for sharing your thoughts concerning the Uganda elections and the implications for Africa and indeed uh, Nigeria. We do appreciate your time. Thank you, Justine, and God bless. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.